Hey everyone, it's the Sacramento Chef here. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a healthy almond flour chocolate chip cookie two ways, a vegan friendly version and a non-vegan friendly version. The first thing you're gonna do is preheat your oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and you're gonna sift two cups of almond flour, not almond meal, almond meal is too grainy and too heavy for this recipe. Next, I'm going to be adding a fourth teaspoon of salted sea salt, a half teaspoon of baking soda, and a little bit of Ceylon cinnamon. Now in the next step, I'm gonna be showing two tablespoons of butter, but instead of that, if this is a vegan friendly version that you're looking for, omit the butter, add uh, a vegan butter instead. And instead of the egg I'm going to be adding, do one tablespoon of flaxseed mixed with three tablespoons of water, mix that into a gel and add that instead of an egg. So there I have my two tablespoons of grass-fed butter, about a half cup of light brown sugar or coconut sugar, one egg or the flaxseed gel, and replacement for the vegan friendly version. One tablespoon of pure vanilla extract and about a fourth cup of any type of nut butter. I'm using a brand called Nutso and that has different nuts in it like hazelnut, cashew, almond. And I just think that adds to the cookie and gives it a deeper, more complex flavor. Then you're gonna mix that or cream it together and then slowly add your almond flour mixture half at a time. Then you're gonna have um, some chocolate chips there that I cut up. If you're vegan, use a vegan chocolate and fold it in. Your mixture will be kind of hard to mix and that's because of the almond flour and that's normal. I'm gonna take about one to two tablespoons of the batter, roll it up into a ball, and then bake that on my 350 degree oven for about 12 to 14 minutes or until it's a light golden brown color. And that's the consistency that you want right there. They're going to harden as they cool. So they may look like they're underdone at first, but they're not, they just need to cool. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some flor de sal, and that is just a fancy version for finishing salt that's a light flaky kind of salt. If you don't have that, you're gonna to wanna to add a little more salt to your, um, to your batter because the salt on top is adding to enhance the chocolate and the cookie flavor. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm adding some bigger chocolate chips to the top just for some variety and to make it look nice. This is the creative part. You can pretty much add anything you want to the top of the cookies or leave as is. And there you have it. I made two batches, one vegan friendly and one non-vegan friendly. And it's as easy as that. And both turned out wonderful and they both taste the same, just made two different ways. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, please like, follow, and subscribe if you're watching this on my YouTube channel. I make videos every week. Thank you guys for watching.